we've got clear skies. We've got a beautiful setup weather-wise, high pressures building in, and some pretty spectacular stuff and weather to take advantage of because this time of the year, this is unusual. And of course, as you know, it's not going to last. Getting ready for what should be a pretty spectacular sunrise out there. The max track is clear. They've had, of course, the heavy rain in New England, but we are under the influence of a ridge of high pressure. You can see where some of the heaviest rain has fallen. That's western Connecticut, Long Island. That's nine, ten inches of rainfall. And here, we're high and dry through the rest of the week and into next week. So not a whole lot to talk about beyond really, really nice weather thanks to this. You see this blue H dropping down across the Great Lakes. This is a ridge of high pressure slowly sinking south. And as it does so, We've got that north to northeasterly flow around it, and that means that we are stuck as far as the weather is concerned in a pretty good place because it's tamping down the heat and the humidity. And at the upper levels, when you go up in the atmosphere, you also have upper level ridging and this upper low. And between the two, it just uh, it serves to funnel that air in, that cooler, drier air in from the northwest. And with this stalled pattern, it'll be happening today and tomorrow before we finally see the pattern start to move again heading into the weekend. So we're talking upper 70s and low 50s for highs and lows, which is unusually cool for this time of the year. We've got 50s out there already. It's 55 in Richmond. Danville, you guys are in the mid 50s, 57 in Monticello. The dew point temperatures are in the low to mid 50s in a lot of locations in the bluegrass, which is a very comfortable place to be. That's comfortable dry air. The indication uh, that kind of grayish color of uh, lower humidity, the higher humidity content areas has all been shunted down across the Gulf Coast. And there it stays for the next couple of days. Now, as this high starts to slide east by Thursday into Friday, you'll start to notice that return flow, that southwesterly wind starting to pull some moisture up the Mississippi River Valley. So I think by later in the weekend, in addition to the temperature taken off again and the heat rising, we will also see a corresponding rise in the humidity. So it'll be very comfortable. Even when we get into the mid 80s Thursday, the humidity should still be you know, in check. So I think it's going to be very comfortable for us. But over the weekend is that, of course, heat rises. So will the humidity. So we'll get back into the hot and steamy stuff there fairly quickly. Below normal temperatures pretty much overwhelming the Great Lakes right now. And that unusual heat, that, uh, that abnormal heat for this time of the year, still baking Texas and New Mexico. Watch it spread east over the weekend and into next week. This is where we'll get back into that well above normal stuff with those highs getting into probably the low 90s and then staying there for a number of days. So get ready and take advantage of this. I mean, check it out. 78 in Frankfurt today. There's some locations showing mid 70s. Michael was talking about feeling like early October. Mid 70s, that's the normal high in Lexington in early October. Upper 70s, what we usually see around late September. Showing mid to upper 70s in our eastern counties, goose eggs for the precipitation chance. That means we got sunshine to go along with it. Down into the mountains, 76 in Boonville, 71 in Whitesburg, low 70s in some of our mountain counties, and mid 70s down in the lakes region. So it could be a very nice day down on Lake Cumberland. And well, the eight day shows no rain on the way anytime soon, but that gradual and then more rapid rise in the temperature heading our way over the weekend.